Hello. So I'm doing. I'm going to do a couple of videos here um, on printer port um, step generation. Uh, people think the printer port is dead, but you can still get even new computers with printer ports. At least the header is on the motherboard still. But uh, what I had found, uh, we've been using these uh, HP small form factor uh, workstations at uh, at my day job, and uh, they work well. They're they're definitely not the newest thing. They're actually third gen i5s, so they perform quite nicely, um, but they're definitely not the newest thing. So I thought, why don't I throw uh, Linux CNC on it and see how it runs? And you can see, this is the kind of latency I've been getting with this, um, with a few tweaks to the, uh, to the kernel line. So this is way less than 5 microseconds, or way less than 10 microseconds latency, which which um, this kind of latency I normally don't see unless I'm running RTAI. Um, so this is really exciting that RT preempt can, uh, with the right computer hardware, it looks like it will do at least as good as the RTAI real time. Um, so when I saw these numbers, I thought, huh, it's got a printer port. Let's see. Let's see what kind of uh, what kind of performance we can get out of this. So, um, with software stepping, um, you're looking at usually uh, if your hardware is good, you're probably going to get around 40 kilohertz. Um, you're not going to get much more than that. Um, so that's kind of what I shoot for with um, software stepping. Is if the 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 computer can do around 40 kilohertz. That's pretty decent. If you need anything more than that, buy buy external hardware like like Mesa. So this computer with RT preamp, this is running the Debian Stretch Live CD from uh, LinuxCNC.org. Um, I'll put a link in the description. Um, it's uh, it's running a um, 25 microsecond base thread, which equates to uh, 40 kilohertz. So this machine, my green machine, with 10, uh, it's about 10,000 steps per inch with the lead shine 3660. That's one of the reasons why I thought I'd try this, is the lead shine is made to hook to a printer for it. So I thought, what the heck? I'm going to be using Mesa. There's a Mesa card in there. But I thought, well, let's see what this will do with the with the old-fashioned um, printer port. And I have to say I'm pretty impressed. So I'm going to close off the uh, real-time uh, latency test and bring up Linux CNC. So I made a config um, for this machine. Like I said, it's around... Uh, 10,000 steps per inch. That gives me um, at if I, I this machine runs 200 inches per minute. Okay, so at 200 inches per minute, um, that's around 33 kilohertz. So that's well within the spec of this um, computer. So I'm gonna home it here, and it sounds smooth. Now it's going to home these two axes. Uh, and it homes at 60 inches a minute. And I'm going to jog it around a bit at 200 inches per minute. Um, Z is actually 150. It's just too much mass on that little stepper. But it runs 200 inches per minute just fine. And these two axes. Soft limits are awesome. I can run it all around, not having to worry about hitting anything other than I could run the spindle into the table. But uh, I am very impressed 
with RT Preamp. This makes me uh, excited that the uh, printer port uh, could be utilized still, even without uh, uh, RTAI real-time live CD. Because um, right now, the RTAI um, live CD is running Wheezy, which is end of life. Um, and so far, we haven't had good luck uh, getting the latest RTAI running. Um, so, so it's nice that we have another real time, which RT Preempt is actually part of the uh, kernel.org now, which is nice. And I think at some point it's going to be mainlined into the actual kernel. I don't know if it's happened yet. So. This is all exciting stuff for uh, real-time uh, control software. And uh, what I'm going to do is I have a MCO lathe that's got a 100-line encoder that I'm also going to, that runs off the printer port too, and show uh, it running uh, and threading through the printer port. Um, I actually already have videos like that, but thought I'd put it all together. So, all right. That's it on this video.